Okay, so um, a few days ago we were woken up in the middle of the night by um, quite an unusual emergency. We've never had to deal with anything like this before and we've been woken up in the middle of the night with some kind of boat emergency quite a few times um, since we started sailing 10 years ago. So this was a completely new experience for us um, and not something that I would like to um, have to go through again. So yeah, check out this video to see what happened and um, how it was resolved. So it's 4.30 in the morning. We've just been woken up um, by someone knocking on our hull and um, the dock that our boat is attached to is actually sinking into the water. I have no idea how it's happening. It's really heavy. It doesn't really float. That's the only bad thing about it. Yeah, I took, I took an elf cut to do some work with, but... All right, well, I've isolated the power. I mean, there. It's all jammed down the side of... Yeah. I can cut it away. So is it a water hose, then? It's a water hose, but the hose... We've been here for days. Like, why would it suddenly jam? Just a uh, caught an oyster. It's one of those. What you don't want to do is get your fingers in there as it unreleases and removes... I mean... You know, just don't even bother. Yeah. You know, I don't want to... But you're right, I mean, the high tide mark is right there. I know it's going to be a bit above that, but it surely won't be much above that. It can't be that much more. I said that the... Yeah, the but the, the, the high water mark, there's that green algae line. It'll probably be a foot. Look where that roller mark is. Yeah. Damn. Oh, shit, what do we do? I think we can do. <laughs> Is our boat's floating. I'm worried about the bloody pontoon, baby. I know, well, there's, there's, nothing, you there's nothing we can do about the pontoon. So apologies for my slightly uh, dishevelled appearance. I've been up all night or since three o'clock. Essentially the problem we seem to have is that our pontoon is sinking and our pontoon is sinking primarily because I think since the rollers got caught on a hose or, or a lead, but um, yeah, things aren't so good. So um, it's slowly getting better. I'm not sure whether that's because the tide's receding. I don't think it is. I think we're just about at high tide now, but maybe because, I don't know. I think that the dock's kind of slowly coming back up because it's snapped. And so that's kind of allowing a lot of the dock to rise back up to the surface. Um, so yeah, let me show you what it looks like right now. So I don't know if you can see because it's all underwater, but just here is where the dock has snapped so all of this is a lot deeper than this plank here and this plank has come out completely 
um, and you can actually see some exposed wiring just under there so I think that's still live that pedestal um, but we have a fire extinguisher just there waiting in case I don't think that anything's gonna happen so I guess every story needs an ending and what happened with us is that the water receded and it transpires that the problem that we found was that for those of you that live in marinas or have been in marinas this is kind of obvious but for those of you who don't explanation there is tidal range in a marina tide goes up tide goes down so so that the pontoons don't sink uh, when the tide goes up the pontoons rise as well and they rise on rollers that are wrapped around concrete or steel piles so what happened was as the tide went down we saw that our hose one of our hose pipes uh, for our fresh water had um, just got between the roller on the um, this is on the pontoon that rate that, ri that rises and falls and just jammed it so it literally jammed j j jammed at an angle Thankfully, Dennis and the repair guys arrived and fixed it all in a couple of hours. The saving grace of this marina is that the pontoons are made of wood. So basically the wood bends a little bit and the planking lifts and splits, but it, you just replace another plank. And thus the concrete piles that we have, um, with the wood pushing against them, the concrete doesn't get damaged. If we had been in a marina, which had been like a big galvanized frame, we would have destroyed it. Or rather the, the pontoon raising would have destroyed it. So we were lucky in that respect that essentially the repair was just wood. Um, and within a couple of hours, they had it all back to the way it should have been, which is awesome news. Um, but precautionary note, if you are in a marina where you have piles and the, the, and those piles go up and down make sure that none of your stuff is kind of like none of your hoses or your leads are caught between the the roller mechanism and the pile now this is going to sound like the usual bullshit, um, excuse but i'm going to come out with it anyway our hose pipe when it was last checked was not hanging in the water. I am fairly fastidious about this sort of stuff anyway. Because it's our fresh water hose, I won't let it d d knock in the water. So I don't know how it got there. I, someone, it may have got knocked, but it, I, I'm 99.9% .9 that we did not move it. As Dennis, the bloke who works in the marina says, if it ain't your sh don't move it. All's well that ends well. Thank you so much to E and Stan and the marina for just getting all this stuff fixed so quickly. As I said, by, I don't know, one o'clock in the afternoon, electricity was back on, pontoon all fixed. So yeah, a great, a great, great big thank you to St. Yacht, John's Yacht Harbour staff. It's always at the time I'm sitting there going, this is not gonna end well, this is not gonna end well. But you also get these amazing moments out of it. Like I remember sitting with the Dockmaster E, just eating Chick-fil-A at like five o'clock in the morning going, this is pretty cool. This is cool, I'm sitting eating a chicken's burger and watching the pontoon fall apart. I can laugh about it now. At the time, I was literally pissing my pants. That in the UK means scared, not laughing. Just, just saying. All right, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's episode and that you learned a lesson from this situation, just like we did. We definitely uh, learned something this week. We hope to never have to repeat that experience ever again. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on our power lines and our hoses and anything else that is kind of near our dock that could possibly get caught into that roller mechanism. Yeah. So if you like our videos and you like our channel and you like us, then if you could just hit that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. Um, there's also the red button down below. I'm sure that you know how to subscribe to a YouTube channel if you're sitting here watching this. Um, other things that really help us out is a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you <laughs> really didn't like what you saw um, and leave a comment as well. Yeah, we'll see you next Friday and I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend and a great week.